Hey traders, for today's trade, we're looking at a neutral option play known as a call calendar spread in Dow Jones stock McDonald's. So taking a look on MarketSmith, MCD stock has been trading sideways and drifting slightly lower in recent months. The stock is forming a consolidation with a 281.77 entry. A downtrend line can be drawn within the base to find an earlier entry as well. Shares are showing decent gains in strong volume. The retail restaurant group is also showing strength, ranking number 20 out of IBD's 197 groups. So for today's trade, we're going to be looking at an option play known as a call calendar spread. Just a heads up, a calendar spread is considered a more advanced strategy and not recommended for beginners. So if you've never done this before, please follow along in a virtual account until you can get the hang of it. So a calendar spread is an income trade that involves selling a short-term option and buying a longer-term option with the same strike price. Traders typically use call options unless the trade has a bearish bias, in which case they would use puts. These spreads are known as time spreads because they use the same underlying asset and the same strike price, but different expiration dates. A calendar spread is a low-risk strategy that profits from the passage of time and or an increase in implied volatility. It's best to find stocks that have lower implied volatility relative to the overall market at the time of initiation and profit off an increase in volatility. So let's take a look at my trading platform and set up this trade in MCD. MCD was trading around 264 yesterday. And selling a March 31st expiring Two sixty five call option would have generated around four hundred forty five dollars in premium while buying the April fourteenth expiring two sixty five call at the same strike price would have cost around five hundred ninety five dollars. MCD was trading around two sixty four yesterday and selling the March 31st expiring 265 call option would have generated around $445 in premium, while buying the April 14th call with the same strike price would cost around $595. That results in a net cost for the trade of $150 per spread, and that is the most the trade can lose. The estimated maximum profit is $300, but that could vary depending on changes in the implied volatility. The idea with the trade is that if MCD stock remains around 265 for the next few weeks, the sold option will decay at a faster rate than the bought option, allowing the trade to be closed for a profit. The break-even prices for the trade are estimated at around 256 and 277, but these can also change slightly depending on the impact of the changes in implied volatility. So for a trade like this, I would set a profit target of 25% and I would set a stop loss if MCD stock breaks through either 256 or 277. As always, remember that if you're new to options, make sure you practice with a virtual account before risking any real money. And remember that options are complex and investors can lose 100% or more of their investment. Check out the new Options Trader app from IBD for digestible options education and tons of great trade ideas, and join us for our regular options content where we break down a new trade idea every day. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching Investors Business Daily on YouTube. If you want to watch more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing.